How do you land a robot on a small rotating comet that's dotted with cliffs, crevices and boulders? Well, you need some nifty rocket science. And this is where the magic happens. It is from this control room in Darmstadt, Germany, where scientists will oversee the delicate landing of a probe on the surface of a comet. The comet is small, about four kilometers long, and there's a spacecraft called Rosetta orbiting it. On Wednesday morning, Europe time, Rosetta will maneuver to position itself about 22 kilometers from the comet. It will then eject a robotic probe called Philae, which is about the size of a small fridge. We have to be very precise in this. A small error in the velocity of Rosetta propagated for several hours that it takes down to, for Philae to go down, that can become a big error. Attracted by the comet's weak gravity, Philae will drift slowly towards the comet's surface over a period of seven hours. The moment of landing, whether you're lucky and it's a flat terrain, or you're unlucky and you hit a boulder or some crevasse, the lander tumbles over and everything is lost. It's hoped that Philae will land safely at a designated flat parking spot. It should then send the first photograph from a comet's surface. It will also start to intensely study